Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maltied Bampot and welcome to The Independent for Wednesday the 12th of September. If you are a returning subscriber then welcome back and if you are new to the show, The Independent is a daily show where we look at the newest games out that day and put them into a top X format, usually 5 or 10, and have a little bit of a talk about them and see which ones could be worth your money. So it's another fairly quiet day today, yesterday was as well obviously because it was 9-11. Today is similarly quiet, I'm not so sure why, but it kind of seems like there are some surprises in store for us at the end of the week. Looks set to be very busy. But without further ado, in the meantime, allow me to present the top four games releasing today. Kicking off today is Assetto Corsa Competizione, a very, very badly pronounced version of the actual name of the game, releasing on PC on Early Access. So this is, of course, a sequel. Would you call it a sequel to Assetto Corsa? Probably more of a spin-off. This is the new official Blanc Pain GT series video game. Here are the French, here are the French. Thanks to the extraordinary quality of simulation, the game will allow you to experience the real atmosphere of the GT3 championship, competing against official drivers, teams, cars, and circuits reproduced in-game with the highest level of accuracy ever achieved. Sprint, Endurance, and Spa 24 hours races will come to life with an incredible level of realism in both single and multiplayer modes. Essentially, this is a highly realistic racing sim. How it stacks up to games such as, I'm not, I'm not going to say Forza, but Gran Turismo, I'm not entirely sure, but it certainly is selling itself almost entirely on the basis of being a super realistic simulation. If you are into realistic car sims, then you probably already know how this stacks up overall and whether you're interested. Next up today is Gift of Parthax. This is a 2D top-down action arena game of gladiatorial wizardry. Indeed, you have to follow the story of the purple-cloaked runaway wizard, Arif, on his quest to save his friend's life. In a world where wizardry is outlawed, the magicians Arif and his companion Vilius were captured by a group of agents during their escape from the kingdom of Duradil. And yes, this is sounding very much like Lord of the Rings, so let's just cut to the chase. You have to create and combine your own spells using six different magical elements and there's something about 29 or 39 powerful spell enhancing runes as well that you can use to vanquish your foes. Essentially you need to level up your magical prowess over the course of the game and fight in epic arena battles with little green blobs and flying things. Dive into a gripping story and interact with the Colosseum's characters and objects to discover more about what's actually going on. You also have different endings depending on the model choices made throughout the game, specifically during the boss fights. Could indeed be an interesting indie title. Next up today is Construction Simulator 2 US Pocket Edition. This is, of course, a port from an iOS game. It's, it's finally here on PC, says the devs. Finally. I don't know who's been asking for this, but no doubt some people have. Uh, maybe. Among construction circles. Yeah, sure. So in Construction Simulator 2 US, you build your own construction company and take the wheel of 40 original licensed construction vehicles from the manufacturers Caterpillar, Lieber, Palfinger, Bell, Still, Atlas. Atlas, there's a construction company called Atlas. Well, they're straight out of a sci-fi film. Mack Trucks, Mueller, Kipper, and Kenworth. This is probably not the most interesting description in the world, but I just felt like saying those names. So it is, as you can expect, lots of different things to construct and more than 60 different jobs apparently. So it's split up into all these different jobs that you have to play, including repairing crumbly roads, rebuilding a railroad bridge, minor gardening work apparently, and you have to manage your company and essentially build roads and the whole shebang. Rounding off today is Time Carnage releasing on Switch. This has previously been released on, I believe, the PC, certainly a PlayStation VR. It is a frantic survival wave shooter with gyro-based motion controls, featuring single-player or two-player couch co-op gameplay. Travel through time and wreak havoc. They always use that word wreak. Developers are obsessed with wreak, but anyway, wreak havoc through worlds swarming with dinosaurs, monsters, robots, and zombies, so... The whole shemang, the whole lot. Unlock and upgrade your arsenal to survive the onslaught. 
Choose your weapons wisely as you'll manically swap out active guns on the fly in a 16 tier campaign or custom arcade mode, complete with perks, challenges and mystery items. Immerse yourself in a post-apocalyptic world, prehistoric jungle, icy wasteland and a futuristic metropolis. For each zone you'll handpick a selection of guns to suit your playstyle and battle with a timed reload system as you unlock an arsenal of over 25 mix and match dual wielding weapons. So yes this is I guess something along the lines of Time Crisis in VR. The reviews from the PC and the PlayStation VR versions are a bit mixed. At the end of the day it's a wave shooter so how much scope there is here, mm, yeah. Probably not too much, but certainly looks like a title that could be of interest if you're looking for some mindless fun. Alright folks, my name is Malted Bampot and this has been The Independent for Wednesday the 12th of September. A bit of a short day today, it's been a short week, but tomorrow is crazy. I don't know what's happened tomorrow, but the plan is to have a double episode because there are so many games out. I think that every company on earth is playing things close to their chest until the end of the week for some reason. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel that way you'll be able to see tomorrow's video and get a nice little notification for it. Maybe, maybe, I can't say that for sure, nobody can. Alright folks, I've been Malted Bampot, that's Malted with an M and Bampot with a B. Thanks very much for listening and I'll catch you again tomorrow.